What's up, y'all? I am back again with another video, and today we were going on a different reaction. So I'm gonna re I'm gonna read the title for y'all. Hold up a sec. Freda Bang calls Omel Johnson racist for saying Eminem can't be the goat if he's white. Part seven. So this is gonna be good, y'all. So y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notifications and make sure you don't miss another video and share this with your family and friends. And let's get into it. This is all over the news right now. Uh, Dr. Umar Johnson said that uh, Eminem can't be the greatest of all time because no non-African can ever be the, the best at anything African. <laughs> Number one, are you an Eminem fan at all? Yeah. Okay. Do you believe that? Do you believe that a non-black person could be the best at hip hop considering the hip hop I, was originated by? I feel like sometimes older black people can be the most racist people in the world. <laughs> that, uh, like, it's just sometimes it's just a steal. Like, we've grown up Growing up, like you go down to the store or something, like oh, don't, oh, don't, don't go talk to that white man. So you know what I'm saying? It's just how we grow up. So they, and and especially the older folks, you know, they grandparents treat them like that. So they just grow up with that slave mentality. Sometimes I mean, you know, you can't want to stop racism and then say some racist shit and it's not racist just because you black. Right. Well, they're saying it's not racist; it's prejudice because racism. You need to have a certain amount it's of power same. over some, but it's, 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 basic, it's basically word. the same. Yeah, it's the same damn thing to me. Well, yeah, and Cause actually, because if, if a white person would say that about a black person, oh, he's racist. Well, yeah, a white person could say, well, you can't have a black person be the king of basketball uh, because white people invented yeah, it, or, or right? Because the, or the white... king of country music, you know what I'm saying? And you've had you've had huge black country artists, right? Like, but who, but in the blowfish, but like, let a like, Caucasian. Uh, country singer say that he's gonna be labeled a racist. Absolutely, right. He'll get canceled, but he have to go on an apology to yeah. him. And I feel with Ubo, I like watching his stuff because he'd be funny as hell. I've interviewed him before. It'd be funny as hell. Well, no, my name got thrown into it. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh yeah, you know what? What you know? Vlad hasn't built any schools, <laughs> so I had to pull out my. I had to pull out a flashback where seven years ago he's talking about building a school. On Vlad TV, someone pointed out that he's actually been taking donations since 2009 gifts. for the school. Gifts. Yeah, gifts. Donations. Donations. <laughs> so for 14 years, he's been taking people's money yeah. to build this school, and it still hasn't opened yet. Yeah. <laughs> now we say next year it's going to open. Now when it opens, I, I'm not going to say anything. But until it opens, you know, and people are like, well, have you... so? In response to him saying, have I started any schools myself? No, I have not. But I've also haven't been taking people's money. Right. You know what I'm saying? To start these schools. Right. Well, I haven't been taking people's money at all, actually. I've actually been, been paying people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've literally put millions of dollars in people's pockets in terms of interviews and stuff like that. Right. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, th I think it's a little bit silly. I mean, you know, because, for example, he's like, oh, you know, like, you know, no uh, non-Palestinian could ever be the best at Palestine. But actually, like, you, you see this all the time. I remember there was this uh, this Hawaiian sumo wrestler who went to Japan and became the biggest sumo wrestler in Japan. Mm -hmm. Just because, you know, uh, Hawaiians are, like, huge, you know, and Samoans and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, listen, I think he knows how to piss people off right. by saying shit like that. I think he, he knows how to Get cater. a reaction. Yeah, he knows how to cater to people that really feel some type of way. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's silly. Um, do I think Eminem is the king of hip hop? Uh, no, I don't think so. Like... In terms of living people, yeah, or just overall, I'm not thinking is how L living I, people. I would say. How do you changed. decide fucking who's the best? Well, the, well, I mean, you can look at record sales. I guess that's one way to decide. Man, listen. Let's talk about record sales, cause I see. Listen, if you take all that music that came out in the early two thousands, and you put some against some of it these days, you'd be like, man, this shit is wet. Right. Well, cause it's a different measuring stick. Yeah, but back then people had to buy albums. Yeah. Well, the only thing back then, what you heard was forced into your ear. Exactly. 
there's that. There was no streaming. It, it, yeah, radio played what you you have to listen to the radio. Yeah, you start to like it because so, you just keep hearing so it. So after a while, you got chain hang low, do it wobble to the, you, it. Just stuck in your goddamn head because you came on the radio eight nine motherfucking times. You know what I'm saying? So, so a lot of that shit, if it came out these. Want to know? I took my business to the next level. It's simple. It's Shopify. These days. Them artists who just be feeling like they're just the biggest artists ever came out, that shit wouldn't even be hitting right now. And because you got a lot more competition, and you got a lot more music, a lot more people who can make music now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't just about who can force shit through the radio. Okay, so so r- right now, who would I say is the king of hip-hop? Well, if I, okay, if I say the king of hip-hop, by my definition, it would be if you take all the biggest hip hop artists and they all dropped on the same day, who would get the biggest impact? I would say Kendrick. I say as far as rap, rap, like just rapping, as far as the best rapper right now, yeah. it'd be out of Kendrick, J. Cole, and Eminem. Best rapper. Kendrick. Thanks. And I'm gonna say this to you. I'm a huge fan of J. Cole and Eminem. And and also Kendrick Lamar. And I'm gonna say this, Kendrick Lamar, I ain't gonna lie to you, Kendrick Lamar really do put out some good ass music. Like, and I'm gonna say this right. See, this is the reason why I do fuck with Fredo Bang and I did fuck with a few songs and I do listen to his music. But like it doesn't matter who's like who is the king of hip hop. It doesn't matter. Like it doesn't like I'm gonna say this to you. Like you can't be be king of hip hop because number one Eminem will always will be the GOAT of the greatest of all time. You like see all them album sales like and all that type of shit. It doesn't mean he's white. It doesn't matter. And I'm gonna say this. It doesn't mean hip hop music. And I'm gonna say this to you. Hip hop is it's for everyone. It's not just for black people. It's for everyone. It's the it's just not in you it's just not in the U it's it's just not in the United States. It's in different countries. People love to listen to real hip hop. It's not about, it's not about, it's not about what color you are. It's it, it, like, if a person can spit, if, he, and like, if a person can study the shit out of music, and you say, that's, that's, that's what you can do. Because guess what? Don't let nobody tell you what, you what you can do in music. It doesn't mean you be the king of basketball. Even white people invented that shit. It doesn't mean anything. J. Cole or Eminem. And you can put Wayne in there too, but when it, when it, no, well, Wayne, Wayne's not making the impact that he used to make. Yeah. Wayne, well, well, but that's Wayne, not his fault, though. I'm not saying it's his fault. I'm just saying, like, so you, you wouldn't put Drake in that? Drake is old. See, I, I separate rapper and artist. So you say Drake is more of an artist than a rapper? Yeah. Because he sings yeah. as well? So where would you put Jay-Z in that? Jay-Z is not in my list. Not your list. Okay, that's uh, fair. Because Jay Z is older. Yeah, I just don't really. I just ain't got a lot of Jay Z songs I could rap to you word for word. Fair enough. Well, you're how old are you now? Uh, twenty. It's not damn high. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. <laughs> right. I'm fifty. I'm I'm almost twice your age. Um. For me, I'd probably go listen to Jay Z first. Yeah. For me. For me. Just because I feel like whenever Jay Z drops, he has something to say, and I feel like. You know, it's he doesn't sound dated. I feel like you know, yeah. but that that's just me. That's just me. But I think overall, I think if Jay Z, no, sorry, if, if Kendrick, J Cole, Eminem, and Drake all dropped on the same day, I think Kendrick would make the biggest impact. You could also say, I mean, another another measuring stick is the amount of Grammys they have. I think Kendrick has more Grammys than anybody else. I think Kendrick is probably the more uh, Man, I don't know. I ain't gonna let you slide with that. You know. No, you not rocking with the, the Grammy, the Grammy uh, argument. No, man, I've seen some shit nominated from Grammy. I ain't never heard in my damn life. That's true. Now I want to search it up. I got, I had a million times more plays than the person that <laughs> they got won the Grammy who was nominated. Yeah, I'm because like, a lot of times Grammys go for like the artsy yeah, artists. You know, but what I'm nobody saying? ever heard it. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, no. Like, how do you even get in here? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I, I can't I, I can't even uh, accept that one now. I mean, listen, I interviewed one of the dudes from Millie Vanilli. You know who they are? 
Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli. I heard him. Before. Millie Vanilli was this group that came out of Europe. And they won, because you know, there's different Grammys out there. You know, you could win Grammy for Best Engineer, or Grammy for Best Soundtrack, or whatever else. But there's like the, there's the big Grammys, which is like Best New Artist, Song of the Year, Record of the Year, Album of the Year. Like you know, I mean, there, there are certain big ones. They won Best New Artist and I think Song of the Year. Then it was found out that they didn't sing any of their shit. It was all lip syncing. They had these like older rappers and singers that did all the vocals and they were just pretending to sing and rap and they had to give back their Grammys. Damn. It was the first and only time in Grammy history that's ever happened. They had to give back their Grammys. Yeah. And then one of the dudes died from like a drug overdose, like later. Uh, and I interviewed the dude that was still alive. So, you know, the Grammys are questionable but then again you you have monumental artists like the beyonce's and stuff like that who have a ton of grammys and i think they're deserved wow that's crazy i don't know about y'all like that was the, like i ain't gonna lie to you like i'm gonna say this too even fredo bang even like and i'm gonna say this to you some pit that's a lot of that's a lot of black even some black people are racist Every like I mean, I mean, like I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna explain this in a different way. Like I'm gonna look, I'm gonna ease. I'm gonna say this, like we're like old, like even old black people, are even more racist. I got a lot to you. People have lived through that shit for like thousands of years, going through, going through, going through races, and I'm gonna say that shit. That shit is real. It's not a joke, and I'm gonna say this to y'all. Life is too short for all that drama. It's not. And I'm gonna let y'all know this. I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. Y'all know to do like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And I will see you guys in the next time video. Peace.